morning everyone open your books to page number 110 110 look at the bottom of your book it should say 110 and let's start writing the date where are we supposed to write the date on the top left corner so let's write our date it is 9th of april which is the fourth month and 2020 2020 okay now let's read the first um instruction that they have given us okay so put your finger on number four and let's read what they're asking us to do it says write the name of each shape okay so they have given us some shapes and they have drawn a blank in front of each shape and we have to write the correct name of each shape on the blank so let's start with the first one what does the first one seem like this one um, it looks like an egg, right? And what's its name? It is oval. Now the next one. The, it's, it has four corners and all the sides are equal, guys. So what is this? This is a square. Then the next one. It's round and it looks like a football. What is it? It is a circle. Okay, now let's move on to the next one. We have one, two, three, three sides. Um, this looks like a triangle to me. Okay, now let's move on to the next row. Okay, so it has one, two, three, four, four sides. What does it seem like? This is a diamond. Okay, now let's move to the next one. Let's count the sides first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight sides, guys. What is this? It's an octagon. Octagon. Okay. Now let's move to the last one. Let's count the corners first. One, two, three, and four. It has four corners and two faces are equal. So this is a rectangle. Cool. Wasn't this easy, guys? Okay, guys, now put your finger on number five and let's read what they're asking us to do. This is, it says add. Okay, so this is simple addition. The first one is 41 plus 63. So how will we do this one? We will start, uh, we will start with the right side, okay? So 1 plus 3, which is the bigger number? 3 is the bigger number. So 3 goes in our mind and we will take one finger out and we will count after 3. What is our answer? 4. Then the next one is 4 plus 6. Now which is the bigger number? 6 is the bigger number, right? So we're going to put 6 in our mind and we will take 4 fingers out and we will count after 6. So we have... 7, 8, 9, and 10. So what is our final answer? It is 104. 41 plus 63 is equal to 104. Guys, now let's move to the next one. It says 62 plus 93. Now we will start with the right side. So let's see. 2 plus 3, which is the bigger number? 3 is the bigger number. So 3 goes in our mind and we will take 2 fingers out and we will count after 3. So we have 4 and 5. So we will write 5 over here. Then the next one says 6 plus 9. So which is the bigger number? 9 is the bigger number. 9 goes in our mind and we will take 6 fingers out and we will count after 9. So let's see. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. So what is our final answer? Our final answer is 155. 62 plus 93 is equal to 155. Now guys, I'm going to give you a little while. You finish it up and then we will match our answers. Okay guys, I hope everyone's done by now. So let's match our answers now. 94 plus 21 is equal to 115. Then we have 75 plus 54 which is equal to 129. Then we have 40 plus 75, which is equal to 115. Then we have 22 plus 87, which is equal to 109. 109. Now let's move to the next row. 82 plus 86 is equal to 
hundred and sixty eight. Then you have eighty one plus twenty six, which is equal to one hundred and seven, which means one zero seven. Then we have fifty two plus sixty, which is equal to one hundred and twelve. Then we have ninety six plus thirty two, which is equal to one hundred and twenty eight. Then we have 73 plus 72, which is equal to 145. Then we have 87 plus 51, which is equal to 138, 138. Now let's move to the last row. Now we have 78 plus 41, which is equal to 119, which is 119. Then we have 94 plus 84, which is equal to 178 178 then we have 71 plus 82 which is equal to 153 then we have 35 plus 73 which is equal to 108 which means 108 then we have 93 plus 75 which is equal to 168 and at last we have 69 plus 70 which is equal to 139. I hope all of you got these right. Guys, now turn your page and go to page 111. Look at the bottom of your book. It should say 111. 111. Now let's read the title together. Put your finger on the title. It says dozen. Now let's see what they're asking us to do. Put your finger on number one. How many apples are in a dozen now they want us to uh, tell them that how many apples are in a dozen so you guys know that a dozen means 12 so there are 12 apples in a dozen now let's move on color a dozen apples okay now they have given us these apples and they want us to color a dozen apples okay so i will color my apples red let's start this is our first apple, then second one, so we're done with two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. How many do we have to color? We have to color a dozen, which means twelve, eleven, and finally our last apple to complete our dozen, which is the twelfth apple. So we're going to color this one like this so there we go guys we're done with our dozen apples oh they look nice okay guys now put your finger on number two and let's read the instructions it says draw a line from the object to its shape so these are the objects that they have given us how many do we have one two three and in the last row four five and six so six objects in total and these are the shapes that they have given us in the middle we have to draw a line to the object sorry from the object to the correct shape now let's look at the first one this is round and so this has to be a circle right so we're gonna draw and match it with the circle okay so the next one is a clock and it's a diamond shaped clock so we have a triangle a square a circle an oval a diamond and an octagon so this is a diamond let's match it with this one okay so let's see now the next one is an oval if you see this pond around the duck it is oval so let's match it with an oval shape there we go okay now this one this object is a triangle and probably an upside down triangle right so that doesn't matter it's still the same shape we're gonna match it with the triangle now the next one is an octagon object okay so we will match it with an octagon and now we're left with the last one which is a square so there we go 
Wasn't this easy and fun? I love doing this page.